Buddy, this is Beetle5 and welcome to another one of my reaction videos. I have with me the Ginger here. Hello everyone. And we'll be reacting to the death battle between Naruto versus Ichigo. Now apparently this death battle has been in pretty big debate. From what I've heard recently. Like people are saying, oh this death battle is going to be as bullshit as like Goku versus Superman kind of thing. But I have, I've never seen Bleach, so I don't know much about Ichigo. I did watch the original Naruto series though. How, how about you? What do you know about either of these guys? <laughs> I only know they're from anime. I know a little. You, you haven't about watched Nar. I was saying you haven't watched Naruto. I thought you knew about Naruto. I haven't Naruto. watched Naruto or Bleach. Okay. But I know. I know they're from. Like, yeah, you know that they're from each of those animes. And so. I know a little bit about them, but not really. Okay. So yeah. So I can't really give a fair estimate of who's gonna win this fight until we uh, set this shit going. So yeah. Let's go ahead and start this video in three, two, one, go. Holy Shonen Trinity. The yeah, they are both Shonen, aren't they? Anyone Shonen Jump. Yeah. Of yeah. Shonen Jump will recognize these, some of the biggest titles in I like Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Shonen Jump. And it's time for two of those Shonen heroes to yeah. throw down. Naruto Uzumaki, ninja prodigy of the Hidden Leaf. And Ichigo Kurosaki, the enormously powerful Soul Reaper from Bleach. He's hmm. Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Ooh, nice. All right, we got Naruto Konoha. first. The village hidden in the leaves is yep. a pretty quiet town. I've only seen the original series. I've never seen Shippuden. For so. a city full of ninja, still, there was at least one troublemaker among the bunch. The number one knucklehead ninja, Naruto Uzumaki. I'm home, everyone! Naruto Uzumaki! Has I never liked him. I thought he was extremely annoying. Orphaned at a young age and ostracized by his peers, Naruto may have been mischievous, but he had great <laughs> enjoys ramen. Oh yeah, dude, that's all. Yeah, he eats that all the fucking time. Are you kidding? Which is a fancy word for ninja governor. <laughs> the only way Naruto could reach such a prestigious position was to excel in ninja school. Like Ninja Harry Potter. <laughs> he should really find a place that'll teach him not to dress like a clown. And I remember like that. A real human being. Nice. What does he think he is? An airplane? <laughs> Actually, his posture likely decreases wind resistance, which could be beneficial when moving at superhuman speeds where angular momentum is a smaller factor. <laughs> I remember when you ran like that in middle school. <laughs> hey, that was for research. <laughs> Anyway, well, so that's actually a reason why they fucking do that. Still tried his hardest to reach his goal, but Failed to graduate from the academy three times. Wow. Chakra. In Buddhism and Hinduism ideologies, chakras are, in simplistic terms, gates within the human body which can be opened to achieve enlightenment. But the ninja in Naruto's world had a slightly different interpretation. Oh, <laughs> say, they weaponized it. Naruto can use hmm. chakra for all sorts of flashy attacks. He can heal himself, seal monsters away, walk up walls, or even stand on water like a ninja Jesus. Wow, He's like a ninja a Jesus. Techniques or jutsus, Gesundheit. and even developed a few <laughs> new ones of his own. Uh. Yeah, I remember that. That was hilarious. <laughs> he did at the Kiba. His signature move <laughs> is the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Oh yeah. Where he can copy and paste himself over Rasengan. and over again. Oh god, so many Unlike moves. Like the standard clone technique, Shadow Clones are tangible with their own combat Frog? capabilities. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He, he can summon frogs and his clones, mm -hmm. like a giant it's one. Really impossible to distinguish the real Naruto from the fakes. And he can get pretty tricky when he makes thousands of them. Extremely but adept at developing complex today, Shadow Clone strategies on the fly. He can opponents down with the Rasengan. By spinning chakra in yeah. his hand, Naruto creates a compact ball of energy which can blast through. Took him forever the freaking master that move. Rasengan usually takes yeah. years to learn. Naruto figured it out after training for just over a week. He's invented oh, more well, Rasengan than time. Willy Wonka's invented candies. He previously required at least one shadow clone to assist. Oh, okay. By combining the Rasengan with the element of wind, he uses it to turn the spinning ball into a spinning blade. Jesus. This baby can trap you in a vortex of wind so sharp. It'll mess you up at a cellular level. Naruto has plenty of other techniques up his orange sleeves, including summoning, substitution, and transformation jutsus. Hmm. He can even transform into a... Uh, sexy lady, sexy jutsu. Yep, Whoa. that's great. Look Dude, that was hilarious. He used sexy jutsu a lot of times. Besides not having parents, you don't need to worry about anyone walking in on you. Yep, that's so funny. I love his sexy jutsu. Has a limit. 
The more physical and spiritual energy one possesses, the more chakra they'll have at their disposal. Just like the gas tank from a chainsaw. <laughs> Thanks to his heritage, Naruto already has a great deal of chakra. Even still, he has far more than he reasonably should. All because of the nine-tailed fox. Yeah, he's got a monster in his stomach. Let's backtrack a few years. What? On the day of Naruto's yeah, oh yeah. birth, his village was attacked by a chakra beast known as the nine-tailed fox. A monster so destructive, a mere swing of its tails could level a mountain. In desperation, the Hokage at the time sacrificed himself to split the nine tails in two, sealing one half within his own son, Naruto. So his first ever birthday gift to his son was a giant pet fox that can destroy cities? Eventually he made yeah, peace with the nine tail fox dead. so he could be able to Eventually, use it in his like, fighting style. Communicate with yep. the nine -tails. They didn't get along at first. Mm -hmm. Foxy would threaten to eat Naruto, Naruto would whack him over the head with a big shrine gate, you know, typical roommate drama. Still, they eventually became friends, yeah. and Naruto learned the fox's name was Kurama. Afterward, Kurama willingly shared his chakra with Naruto on a regular basis. And as a being composed of chakra, yin -yang 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 Kurama's has, reserves wow. are gigantic. Yin and yang halves, yeah. With so much power at his fingertips, Naruto can enter a bunch of different super forms. Yeah. First up is Sage Mode, which sounds like something he'd learned from an old wise man or wizard, right? <laughs> nope, he learned it from a frog. <laughs> this state increases all of Naruto's physical abilities. Furthermore, Sage Mode allows Naruto to perceive the entire area around him and tap into naturally occurring energy via Senjutsu. He can enhance his chakra attacks by adding natural energy, but if he's not careful, he'll turn into a frog. No, I'm yeah. not kidding. <laughs> With Kurama's chakra, Naruto can enter multiple tailed beast forms, which Nine drastically fox. increases Nine his prowess Naruto. and energy output. Best of which is the Nine Tails Chakra Mode. Flame on! <laughs> even better when he befriended Mr. Fox, upgrading to the stronger, faster, tougher Kurama Chakra Mode. Chakra oh, Mode grants Naruto extra yeah, this is way beyond my knowledge now. for negative emotions and the ability to create additional chakra arms. Whoa, that's Whoa. a lot of hands. Gotta wonder what kind of things he does with them. Capable, right? capable of creating oh, nine attacks, chakra arms simultaneously. Creating rocks and shurikens, the worst. Wow. Yeah, that's not what I was. Ah, a creepy tiny head. <laughs> also, shroud himself in a nine tails sized avatar and use Kurama's ultimate attack, the Tailed Beast Bomb. So destructive, it can level a mountain range. And Five million megatons. It's spoiler time. Pay attention, cause yeah. <laughs> uh, spoiler, All I guess. this chakra stuff started with an alien named Kaguya. Holy shit! Fruit, which basically created chakra. Later, she got all murder happy, so her son stopped her. One of these sons, the Sage of Six Paths, had his own son named Ashura, and Naruto is a reincarnation of him. What? Oh yeah. Mm. Naruto's kind of an alien. Through this connection, okay, Naruto then. was gifted the most divine form of energy, God damn. Six Paths Chakra. With it, he can enter Six Paths Sage Mode. His strength gets boosted even more. He can fly, and he can use truth-seeking balls. Which Holy are orbs crap. of chakra that can transform into weapons and destroy anything they touch. Oh. He can combine all these forms and further add natural energy to his Kurama avatar to form Six Paths Ashura Kurama Sage. Holy mother of fuck! God, that's a confusing amount of forms. Yeah! Anyway, Naruto is also an expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat and could run faster than the eye could see when he was just 12 years old. He's dodged a lightning speed punch from the fourth Raikage. A feat considered comparable to his father, who could teleport. He even does this light speed loogie. According to the fourth data book, this light fang attack does indeed move at light speed, over 670 million miles wow. per hour. Wow. He's tough enough to survive getting stabbed, have his soul ripped out, or get smacked in the face with a beam that can slice the freaking moon apart. Dude, this is way fucking beyond Naruto now. <laughs> Oh my He's god! Got multiple tailed beasts at once. Lift a statue weighing several hundred tons. He defeated Gara easily. Gone He's one of the few people to beat Gara. Shadows and pulverize six falling meteorites simultaneously. His chakra is so tough he can power through Amaterasu, a fire jutsu with flames so strong they burn other flames. He can even wow. make new eyeballs for blind people. What's up with that? Oh, and in his final okay. fight with rival and possibly closet boyfriend, <laughs> 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 so great they obliterated miles upon miles of land. 
Changing the weather and disintegrating. Yeah, Sasuke has like a Only beast then, form inside him too or some shit. Sasuke, saving the world from Kaguya mm. and reuniting the split halves of Kurama. Oh. Naruto finally achieved his dream and became Hokage. Damn. But he's still pretty dumb. I mean, <laughs> he named his son Burrito. Yeah, Boruto. Boruto. Yeah, Dear enough. God. I hear that show's away. awful. I never go back on my word. That's my ninja. My ninja way. way. Okay, not gonna lie, Naruto's kind of near god level. So, Ichigo's gonna have to be pretty fucking amazing to like fight Naruto. A word to some, but you all know what it is. The Death God. The Grim Reaper of Souls. And the 17-year-old Ginger with a badass sword. Hey! Ichigo Kurosaki Dude! seemed like a pretty normal you, you, you do something I don't know about? <laughs> ...school and learning martial arts from his father. I don't know. there was one little oddity. Okay. You could see ghosts. Oh, it's like the kid from the Sixth Sense. I see <laughs> I love that movie. One day when he was nine yeah. years old and walking home with his mother, young Ichigo noticed what he thought was a girl about to fall into a river. So naturally, he ran over to rescue her like the brave little kid he was. Except it wasn't really a girl at all. It was a hollow, a monster spawned oh. from an abandoned human hell? soul. Oh, God. And it promptly killed his mother. Oh, man. Mama. Reminds me of how I lost my poor mama boomstick. <laughs> what? Oh, she always hated that ghost in the barn. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, Ichigo remained ignorant of the truth until years later, when he met a woman named Rukia, who held the illustrious Ooh. job title of Shinigami, or Soul Reaper, a guardian of the dead who keeps balance in the universe by helping those who have passed move on to the afterlife. Oh. Otherwise, they'd turn into violent hollows. And if you show up late to work and it doesn't work out, the Soul Reaper can always cut hollows down with their awesome swords. Okay. Oh my Samurai goodness. Ghostbusters. I'm gonna have to anyway, watch this. It seems awesome. Find, and Rukia had to share some of her power with Ichigo. Turns out, he was a surprise Soul Reaper all along. Okay. Convenient. When accessing his Shinigami power, Ichigo leaves his physical body for a new one made up of Reishi. Oh. Spiritual matter, which makes him invisible to anyone in the living world, despite still being naturally exists in the atmosphere in like his oxygen. His powers make him super deadly. He can move with blinding speed, cut through giant monsters with ease, hmm. survive being punched through whole city blocks, and even fly through the air. It's more accurate to say he walks through the air, using naturally occurring reishi as footholds. But let's get to the dicey part of his getup that awesome sword. It's yeah, a not gonna lie. Pacto, a blade it's connected nice. to its owner's soul. It may look like an oversized steak knife, but it's a Soul Reaper's best friend. Every Shinigami cool. possesses a Zanpakuto spirit within themselves, which manifests as their sword. Ichigo's is called Zangetsu. Well, both of them are. Oh, here we go. Strap in, because this <laughs> shit's about to get crazy. Okay. Well, Ichigo actually has two different Zanpakuto spirits drawn from his weird and confusing heritage. All right, so long story short, Ichigo's a Soul Reaper because his dad is too. But he's also part Quincy, which is a human with Reishi powers, because that's what his mom was. But he's also part Hollow because his mom was possessed by a Hollow called White, and White got passed on to him when he was born. Oh, and he's also part Fullbringer, but nobody cares about Fullbringers. One of Ichigo's inner spirits okay. is a manifestation of his side inherited from his mother, while the other is a fusion of his Shinigami oh, power awesome. and the Hollow. Holy Unfortunately, shit. Shinigami and Quincy go together like oil and water. While trying to find a balance between these two sides, Ichigo learned plenty of neat techniques. Like his bread and butter attack, the Getsuga Tensho. I can see why the set battle was in such high Tensho! debate. I, I I I see it now. There's lots of lore to these By animes. By concentrating his Reatsu, or spiritual pressure, through his sword, Ichigo can launch a massive slashing attack. Call it like it is, Wiz. It's a sword beam. And Ichigo can charge it up, okay. fire from up close, or even blast two of them at once. From his Quincy side, Ichigo has used Blut Vina a temporary defense which grants inhuman durability. From his Shinigami training, he developed exceptional sword skills and learned Shunpo, or Flash Step, which greatly enhances his speed. But there's one really big deal we haven't talked about yet. One, two! Over the course of his career battling Ooh. Hollows and protecting his friends, Ichigo has attained many, many different superpowered forms. Oh starting with the base Shinigami like form, Shikai. Bullshit Goku Despite forms here. Being Ichigo's base, this form is strong enough to block an attack from the Sokyoku, said to have power equal to one million Zampakto. The next step was Bob What the Kai. fuck's a Zampakto? <laughs> Are you kidding me with this shit? <laughs> days, like a boss. 
When using Bankai, one's power can grow anywhere from 5 to 10 times greater. And according to the official data book, while in Bankai, Ichigo moves like lightning. Wait, why does his sword shrink when he goes Bankai? Shouldn't it be bigger since he's stronger? Technically, yes, but Ichigo can control its size to keep it more manageable. If Shinigami couldn't minimize their blades, some would have swords the size of skyscrapers. Oh. Awesome! <laughs> the way the hollow inside wanted a piece of the action, too. <laughs> so Ichigo got <coughs> a new power boost with a spoopy hollow mask. Okay! This is strong enough to lift <coughs> five iron pillars, each weighing nearly 100 tons. Wow. So if he's not careful, Ichigo can take control of his body, Whoa. setting him into a violent berserker state commonly referred oh to as my. Vastolorde. Oh my oh god! In consciousness, Vastolorde Ichigo could heal quickly and was strong enough to overcome Ukiyo. Yora, who's powerful enough to nuke a city. After some quality training with his dad, Ichigo got a sort of second Bankai, which most people call Dangai Ichigo. In this form, he shattered mountains without even trying. He broke through the Black Coffin attack, which distorts time and space, which sounds like a black hole. Right after that, he survived a shot so freaking big, the explosion could be seen for miles. By comparing this crater to those left by real-life bomb tests, I'd estimate the attack to have a maximum explosive yield of 814 kilotons of TNT. That's like Ichigo surviving 54 little boys to the face. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I meant, I meant the bomb from 1945, not the. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, well, try as those little boys might, all oh. it did to Ichigo was burn his arm. And he didn't even care. This guy isn't the type to give up. For his ultimate attack, Dongai Ichigo literally becomes the Getsuga Tensho itself. Holy I know that's confusing mother to of To summon fuck. the incredibly powerful Mugetsu. Which busted up one of the biggest patties in the whole series. But it also sacrificed all of Ichigo's powers. Well, that's a raw deal, but 17 months later, he managed to get them back with full bringer powers, which enhanced his physical abilities. But then he lost those two. It's worth noting that while in Fullbring Shikai, his normal sword swings were as strong as his old Getsuga Tensha. But he still didn't give up. After training with some top tier Soul Reapers and eating some food which gave him Super Reatsu, the moment <laughs> came. In the most epic quenching of all time, an entire sea disintegrated to form his new true Shikai, complete with not one, but two Zengetsu swords. Finally balancing the Shinigami, the Hollow, and the Quincy within, Ichigo had reached his full potential. He tamed his Vastolorde form, merging it with his Quincy side. In this form, he can combine his Getsuga Tensho with one of the strongest Hollow attacks, the Grand Ray Sero. He also made a trip that normally takes a week in only 9 hours and 15 minutes. And last but not least, he achieved a brand new level of Bankai which was immediately crushed by some old dude who planned to destroy the universe named he what you what he what what it's probably inspired by the hebrew name for god yahweh and and the katakana ends with a sharp cuss sound so you walk what the yeah, what you gonna do? fuck is well, this can assume this bond guy worked similar to his old ones Increasing its physical speed and strength along with his Ryatsu tenfold. Even without his Bunkai, he still cut Mustache Man to shreds. And then he lived happily ever after. Until his kid became a Soul Reaper. Yeah, <laughs> what'd he name him? Bitchigo? What? No, it's Kazooie. <laughs> uh, well, I might have got him mixed up with the other uh, a kid or whatever. <laughs> it's a lot of kid. Close enough. Boruto. Now Michigo Kurosaki, substitute Soul Reaper. And I'm combining my powerful spirit energy with this blade in order to protect my friends. Okay. All right. I'm going I I I really don't feel like there's a fair answer here. They Okay, the fuck is that? Uh they both seem so bullshitly strong. It's nuts. Like I I mean, they both have more god forms than they need. They can both go at lightning speed. I have no fucking clue who's gonna win this fight. I'm going with my ginger kid. Ichigo? Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean... He looks he has way much more power. He, he, he yeah. does... From what they described, it does sound like his ultimate final, final, final form. <laughs> See, whatever, final whatever the fuck you want to call it. Seems stronger than Naruto's final, 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 final form. 
So, yeah, I, I, I guess I'm going to have to go with Ichigo on this one. Yeah. But, I, you know, I, I, I'm not even, it won't even shock me if Naruto wins this. Cause I this, gotta, this, I gotta go look into his anime. Yeah, uh, well, I, like, well, Naruto's good. Naruto's good. I've never watched Bleach. I'm going to start watching Bleach. Bleach seems really cool. Not going to lie. But, yeah, this, 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 this is easily a Goku versus Superman. I understand what everyone's talking about now. This is a huge debate in here. This one's longer than other ones have been, too. It's a freaking almost a half hour episode. It hasn't been as long since Goku vs. Superman. Alright, here we go. We got Ichigo here. I have, a, I have a feeling most of the world is going to be gone by the time this battle's done. Oh, yeah. Alright. What's that energy? Is that a hollow? <laughs> I sense a presence. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, shit! That escalated quick. All right. Whoa, he's invisible. <laughs> <coughs> okay, he can hear. Good. The Naruto run. Yeah, duh. Wind resistance, remember? Quit running, coward! Oh. Oh. Naruto, keep moving. I'll direct you. Ah, oh, substitution. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I see you. Okay. Uh, believe it. That's what he always says. All right. So Naruto's gotten to his first form already. Whoa. Looks like he. Yeah. Here we go. His first form. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sexy Chutsu. <laughs> really? <laughs> he didn't fall for that shit. That was funny. Oh, boy. Whoa. Whoa. Not bad, but I'm still gonna beat your ass. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking seizure warning. <laughs> oh my god, the night's gonna fuck. Whoa. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh. Is that the best you can do? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my fucking god! Oh no, he doesn't have the power. Oh! Whoa! A stick? Okay! Well, he done dead. <laughs> oh my you bastard! Oh, holy shit! Phew. Who was that guy? KO! Damn. Even without Oh my god, Zika freaking Zika Tasachiro and Chuck bad. Norris. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I know you all really wanted to win. What the fuck? This wasn't it. That was insane! Yeah. And a better healing that was like full out fucking ghost, beyond crazy. Matter. Shinigami may be invisible, but they're still present in the physical realm and can be touched by normal people. Kurama can locate individuals by simply sensing their emotions, and Naruto's even seen his own soul before. And with Six Paths power, he could see and fight Madara's Limbo clones, even though they were on a totally separate plane of existence. Also keep in mind that while God. Chakra and Reishi have fairly different uses, they both contain spiritual energy. 
Let's talk speed. Naruto can dodge light speed attacks and can move faster than lightning. Right. But lightning bolt's return stroke is 220 million miles per hour, about one third the speed of light. Ichigo has also displayed lightning fast speeds and even greater. Near the end of the series, Ichigo took a trip that should have taken seven days, but instead took nine hours and 15 okay. minutes. It's likely Kiriji here was referencing his accomplice's speed. Like Ichibe, who can knock his foes 2,440 miles away and appear next to him in a second. What you watch the guy fuck? beat him by going twice as fast, so we'll use that as Ichibe's limit. With that, we can get the trip's total distance and conclude Ichigo's top speed is 319 million miles per hour. That's massively hypersonic, but not quite light speed. <laughs> Still, there's a difference between travel speed and reaction speed, as Naruto's already shown. Comparing them directly, Ichigo's best reaction should clock in at around 970 million miles oh per hour. Oh my god! Faster than light speed and Naruto's reaction time. Okay. Right, point so he was faster! Speed alone yeah. wasn't enough, though, especially since Naruto's sage powers gave him superb field awareness, making it difficult for Ichigo to land a fatal blow. If he could even land something fatal at all. Ichigo has always had a tough time damaging foes who have stronger spiritual energy than him. With that said, let's compare his Ryatsu to Naruto's Chakra. Bad news is, across both of them, the only multiplier we know for sure is Ichigo's times 10 Bankai. The times 10 is difficult to achieve, but for Ichigo's sake, let's assume he gets the maximum possible boost from every transformation. His other forms likely don't boost his stats this much. For example, when he used his Hollow Mask to barely overpower an Aran car, the situation and its results were similar to his then comparable Shinigami friends releasing their limiters, which gave each of them a boost of times 5. However, let's give the benefit of the doubt and apply the maximum times 10 increase That's to how many all fucking of forms he has. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> as well as stack them, even though many forms oh were in separate unconnected power sets. For the sake of argument, we're deliberately overestimating Ichigo's power. You'll see why. So, here's our formula. But where do we start? Okay, Bankai Ichigo with his holo mask was on par with Ukiora's first transformation, correct? Well, nearly. Ukiora states his new form can destroy the city of Las Noches in the hollow world of Huecomundo. I like uh, anime and all, but well, this is, there is a fucking ridiculous. Ah. This really is. Las Noches is square in shape and takes three like, days to walk I mean, from one corner to a gate in the center of the wall. So know. it has a total area of 200,000 square miles. Oh That's bigger than California, and destroying it in one go needs over 400,000 megatons of TNT. So plug that into the formula, and there you have it. Ichigo's Reatsu is equal to over 440 billion megatons of Mother TNT. Of Fuck. Thankfully, Naruto's chakra level is much easier to figure out. His chakra was once extracted and burst a hole through the hollow moon. He survived the explosion, and it was explicitly said that this was nearly all of his chakra. Most of his chakra has been siphoned off. By measuring the aftermath from both sides, we found the blast to equal at least 480 billion megatons of TNT. Four billion more than Ichigo. And don't forget, we what? were deliberately overestimating him. Also, this was base form Naruto, not including any increases from additional modes, which oh allowed my. him to block an attack that cut the moon in half. A oh force that had to be over God. 27 trillion megatons. My fucking head hurts! <laughs> Naruto could both output and survive a blast stronger than Ichigo is capable of. If you're thinking, wait, Boomstick, Ichigo survived a black hole in a box. That move doesn't really work like a black hole. Plus, the 814 kiloton Frager Blast did hurt him immediately after, so it must have been weaker than that. <laughs> but when? <laughs> Weren't Kaguya and you Waka Waka planet <laughs> <laughs> you Waka Waka. Don't they scale to him? Nope. Kaguya's planet-busting attack required chakra from nearly the entire Earth's population, not just her own. Oh, and while Yuok's power was pretty OP, he couldn't destroy the world through his own destructive capability. He only planned to manipulate the delicate balance between life and death by stopping the flow of souls. Like a plate spinning on a stick, if one side gets too heavy, the whole thing comes crashing down. To sum it up, Ichigo had the speed, they both had the guts, and Naruto had the strength, durability, training, and abilities for days. Naruto sure got the shonen jump oh, on Ichigo. Boom, the winner stick. is Naruto wow. Uzumaki. Okay. Stick around, we're about to announce they the really match. did their homework on this one. Exclusive commentary on this I mean, I'm sure people are raging because who the fuck isn't, but I mean. Try to grab one of these shirts too. Okay, oh good. my god. Oh. Uh. What Ooh. is.
Beyond, Batman Beyond versus Spider Man 2099. Ooh, huh. Fun. Well, that certainly is interesting. I mean, I did watch the Batman Beyond show. I don't know about you. I watched that show. That was a good show. Yeah, I watched that show. I know very little about Spider Man 2099. I just know that he's like the highest futuristic Spider Man that there yeah. is in comic lore. But holy shit, that fight was like. Literally so fucking epic, and I don't understand, I don't understand half of it. But oh, Jesus Christ, that was like explosions, fucking shit everywhere. Oh boy, well, that is about all the time we got for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment for those to react to in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Later.